Okay, Kyle. Uh, hey, first things first, Mark Naiman behind me. You, yeah. yeah you, he told me you're, you're the first three-time Ohio State male athlete of the year. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. I appreciate it. What do you do? Where, is there just like a heap of uh, plaques, trophies, medals? Yeah. Where does we're it really about go? To get from, uh, we're about to get like a book stand or I don't know, a stand for my place to put uh, all the stuff in. But yeah, I got a lot of different awards. Pretty thankful. It's cool. You don't ship them back to Maryland? Some of them ship back to Maryland, but I... I like seeing them for a little bit at least, and then they can go home. A lot of them are at home. Yeah, so your, your mom and dad have them yeah, in Maryland? right. Okay. I mean, because I'm wondering, I was like, does this guy just have a heap, like a pile? Yeah. Well, I mean, most of them I get them uh, in Columbus, or they ship them to Columbus. So, yeah, there's a bunch of them at my place. Okay. You look at the success you've had. You know, you're the pound for pound, toughest wrestler on the planet right now. Um, that's, I, I enjoy that, but what do you think it says about America? You took a college loss this year. Yeah. What do you think that says about us and, and you know our system and our collegiate system? What do you think that says about the United States? Yeah, I think we're heading in the right direction. We have a lot of young wrestlers who are really talented. Um, I mean, this year in the final X, we had Dayton Fix at 57 kilo. He's wrestling on the wrestling off of the junior world team. We had Joey McKenna, young guy in college, wrestling for 65 kilo. We had uh, Imar, who's young, Zahid, who's young. Uh, myself, I'm pretty young, so we have, a, and then Kuhn just coming out of college wrestling with, so we had a lot of guys who were in the final X that are young, and then plus we have talent like everybody knows, Spencer Lee's a beast, Yanni's a beast, uh, Gable's a beast, Kirk Vallette's a beast, uh, Aaron Brooks, so we, we have a lot of guys, and there's probably some that I'm not mentioning, we have a lot of guys who are coming to national team camps and training with the senior level guys, which I think is having the biggest impact. When I moved out to the training center and I was able to train with, uh, be invited to train with those type of people and see the way they think about the sport, the way they compete in the practice room and the intensity, that had a massive impact on me. And now we're continuing to invite junior and cadet level guys in and they're having a lot of success. I think, did we win the cadet junior and senior worlds last year? Yeah, I believe we won both. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. It's really good. Yeah. So, so United States is totally on the upswing. I mean, you're obviously Jordan Burroughs. Is, yeah. He would be the guy that, you know, that he's almost like handing it off to you, but he, I mean, he's still got a lot to do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, I mean, you guys got the target on your back, and I know you like the target on your back. Yeah. And I know you want little Yazdan to come up. I know you want whoever wants to come up, right? You know, Sajulai, it doesn't matter to you. What's that like, just being ready to take all comers and having the target on your back? Yeah. Well, I know I'm going to be prepared. I train hard. Um, I, do, I do everything that I possibly can do train hard and smart to be uh, ready to compete at the world championships that's where I plan on wrestling my best and uh, I usually do so I mean we'll have to see what happens this year but that's what I plan on doing and uh, yeah I mean the challenge for me I, I want to become the best wrestler I can be so the challenge only uh, allows me to get there quicker you know so I don't if Saudi Live comes back up it'll be another great match for the sport It'll be another great match for me. I'll be prepared. I, Yazdani's not going to come up. He'll be wrestling 86 kilo. But Reza Yazdani, I heard he's training. Uh, I saw him in Iran. They said he's training. He's trying to come back. So we'll see what happens there. So those Russia's representative, Iran's representative, Azerbaijan is pretty good guy. So it's going to be a good year, good summer. You and I are talking off camera. The Reza Yazdani matchup. I want that. I know you yeah. really want it, right? Yeah. That'd be a great matchup. It's crazy. Because he's so low to the ground. Right. He's like a more Jack Duran win even, right? Yeah. Like he's like that tall though. Yeah, he's short. I was surprised when I, I mean, I knew how, I thought I knew how short he was, but then when I saw him and met him in Iran, he was, he was tiny. But uh, he's been hurt for a while, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I would love that. Yeah. That's one of the only level guys, high level guys you've never wrestled. Right. You've wrestled Godzala, Gadisa, uh, Boltakayev, all those yeah. guys, all the Russian guys, Azerbaijanis, Kazumov, all those guys, right? You've wrestled everyone but him. Yeah. So we're wait we want to see that one. Yeah. Hopefully it happens. Um, Istanbul, how excited are you for Istanbul, Turkey? Yeah. You know, you've won, you're going for your fourth world championship or Olympic title in a row, um, you know, What's that feel like going in with momentum from Final X into that? Man, feels great. Uh, yeah, I'm confident in my abilities, uh, like I have been, I believe, and myself. Just gonna go out and compete with no fear. So, yeah. I gotta tell you something. I gotta admit this. Hopefully, you don't smash me. But 
I like it when people like get at you early on in the match. I yeah. like when someone double legs you off the stage. Or I like <laughs> when a guy takes you and he fours you in New York City on the pier. I like that because then it's like, now I know the guy's in trouble. When someone gets at you early, is it like, is there an alarm that goes off in your brain? What what goes on? You know the Salas match. Yeah. Forge. It was so sweet actually. Yeah. It was, crazy. <laughs> it, it was sweet. It was crazy. I mean, I know you felt it, but you know, getting double legged off the stage by by Kyvin. Is there an alarm that goes off when something like that happens to you? It's actually like the opposite. It's like a complete calmness. Like, no stress. Just get back up and then continue to wrestle. So, I don't know, maybe it looks like I turn my pace up after that, but inside my mind, I'm completely calm. I'm not mad. I'm not worried. I just know that, I mean, especially if it happens early, like in the Salas and Gadsden match, that happened early. So, uh, I, sh I feel like I'll be able to score enough points and uh, to where it wouldn't be a problem. Salas, I was down eight to one, so that was kind of crazy. But Gadsden being down 2-0, it's no big deal. Warm ups between here and Istanbul. Any warm ups? Did you want to Germany yeah. or are you going to Spain? Where are you going? Yeah, we're going to go to uh, Turkey at the end of July, and uh, we might go to one more tournament in September. Uh, not sure where. And then I think we're bringing Taha Akul back over to train. Yeah. In so, Columbus. Yeah, in Columbus again. I'm going to have to pop down. Yeah. <laughs> How was that in January or February when he came? How was that? It was so good. It was so good. Good thing was, it was great for me, but then he also thought he, he benefited from it. He thought that it helped him uh, compete at the European Championships at a high level. One of the things that, I mean, he struggles with and I struggle with is finding trading partners. We have great partners at Ohio State. I mean, Colin Moore, Miles, Chase, my little brother, Gavin Hoffman's now there, but someone, I like, I, li I don't like being the best guy in the room. I like when people can really push me and Taha could really push me. So we went hard uh, two weeks straight and he liked it. So he's been reaching out to come back out and uh, I think it's gonna help us both get ready for the world. I mean, obviously Gwiz is our representative, so I want the USA to win every weight class, but uh, this helps me.